protective gear for doctors and nurses we all know is at a premium right now. And that's why a man from Plymouth who has some free time right now is doing his part to help our medical professionals stay safe. Kim DiGiulio shows us how. With schools out of session, now one middle school teacher from Plymouth is using his time and his garage to give back to those working on the front line. Ray Hollingsworth is keeping busy while he's home from his Pioneer Middle School STEM classroom by setting an example for his students. Even if somebody's not telling you to do something, there's always something you can do. He's using these 3D printers to make medical face shields. Once I have the 3D printed part, protective face screen for nurses goes all the way around the side. His wife is a nurse, so he sees firsthand how badly these are needed in hospitals. And now other medical professionals have reached out to him. I've got everybody from Beaumont to Mott to Henry Ford, um, U of M. They're all asking for supplies. Ray is not alone in putting these 3D printers to work. Matt and Brian Lucia, who own Value Wholesale, a grocery distribution warehouse in Oak Park, have switched over the use of their 3D printers to make face shields too. And they've purchased 65 new printers through the help of a GoFundMe page to speed up production. We're just lucky to be able to help. I mean, thank God we had these machines. Thank God we had access to more material to make the shields. Each machine is able to produce one mask every two hours, costing about a dollar per mask. And while the medical professionals say they need millions of these shields, Ray says that every one that he makes helps at least one person. That every time I'm punching holes, every single time I take one of these off, it's worth something to someone. Now I just got to get it in their hand. I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. All right, Mr. Hollingsworth has been in virtual contact with some of his students to help them set up printers in their own homes so that they can make even more protective shields while they're all home from school.